7.4. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Elvina Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Filthy Phil, and we have this beer from Black Oak Brewing Company in Etobicoke. This is Double Entendre. So, Double Entendre is a double style beer. Uh, it kind of looks like a bald Chuck Norris. <laughs> it's pretty awesome, actually. 7.4% uh, alcohol by volume. There's no double entendres on the back here. Fuck, Ken, I need double meanings. Sexual innuendo double meanings on here. Oh, great. Fucking Ken. Alrighty. You are good, sir. Thank you, sir. Not a very strong smell. Nice, nice color. Very nice color. Almost a ruby red. See? Aesthetically, looks better in my glass. This mine looks like just a beer drinking mug. Oh, you're right, there isn't much smell. And head-wise, none. Like your relationship. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Boyo. Oh, that is, uh... Flavorful. One, it is one of the darkest doubles I've ever had, in all honesty. Um, very malty. Very malty. There's a lot of sweetness at the forefront. A lot of sweetness that carries through all the way to the end. Uh, the Belgian candied sugar, or the beet sugar, as as you would, that is uh, is fairly apparent. It really sticks to your palate. There's a crack in my fancy glass. See what happens with fancy? Strong. Yeah, just lots of sweetness all the way through. A little bit of a banana flavor on the background coming from the yeast that they use. A heavy mouthfeel. I give people heavy mouthfeels. <laughs> Professional. Double entendre. <laughs> So what do you think of it, Phil? Let's get you chatting up. Uh, Let's come on. Good flavor. Doesn't stick around very long. You are correct. It is gone pretty pretty much right after you drink it. Yep. A little bit on the back of your tongue. Flavor sticks around a bit, but not too uh, not too fun. No. It is it is a very flavorful beer and not at the same time. Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, you get hit with all these different flavors. You get hit with the malt, you get hit with the Belgian candy sugar, you get hit with the yeast, you get hit with a little bit of yeast and a little bit of graininess. But then it's gone. But it all just dies. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it leaving a weird feeling on your tongue? Because I'm getting this weird pastiness afterwards. Like, this, like the sugar. Is it just sticking to your tongue? Yeah. Or you just went down on a girl that hadn't bathed in a while. Yes. Or you've banged her for a long time and then went need it. Sooner or later we're going to show you why Filthy Phil is Filthy Phil. <laughs> it might take a few drinks, but Filthy Phil will come out. All over the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it's not a bad beer, but it's not... It's not splendid. Um, the easiest drinking double I've ever had, but probably the uh, weakest tasting double I've ever had. It is 7.4% alcohol, though. You wouldn't know that. No. There's, like, no warming at all. No. Uh, it, it could fuck you up. Absolutely. And with the sweetness, you're going to wake up with a nice headache. Yep. Yeah. Now, price point... 
think this was an eight or nine dollar bottle. I'm trying to remember. I spent uh, thirty six dollars. I bought two ten bitter years. I bought this, and I bought okay, yeah. So this would be this would be about an eight dollar bottle. Um, if you want to spend eight dollars, try it. It is a bomber. I mean, it's a six fifty. It's not a five hundred. You could easily buy this and bring it to a like a dinner party as a bottle of wine instead of a bottle of wine. Sure. Share five ounces each yep. around the table. Yeah. Same percentage as some wines. Not many. Most of them are in the 12 range, but I mean some are under that. So I mean you're you're getting a nice dinner beer out of it, but uh... Not very refreshing beer. No. Um, More as a filler. Yeah, I, I would... Um, I don't know what I'd give it. Um, one to three was never again. One to three was never again. Four to four. three. Three. Well, three to one to two seven five is never again. Three to four seven five is you would drink it, but you wouldn't want to. Uh, five to six seven five is you would drink it if somebody else paid for it, and seven all the way up to ten is I don't mean, you'd different. Buy it yeah, all the time. you'd buy it again, and you'd buy it all the time. You actively, you know. Yep. I'm going with a four with this one. A four? Yep. Uh, I I could see that, and I could see why you'd give it that. I just I it isn't a bad enough beer for me to give it a four, but I don't think I'd pay money for it. Um, I would go. I actually just realized I was trying to peel off part of the silk screen. <laughs> I thought it was <laughs> something on my cup. Oh. <laughs> um, I'd give it a 6.5. I mean, I could drink it all night long if somebody else is paying for it. Because there's nothing there's nothing offensive about it, but there's also nothing redeeming about it. No. And for $8, is that a fairly good price for that? Stop. That's what I was looking at. $8. $8 for, if it was a true Belgian double at this size, that would, that would be about normal for sold here. Uh, being a... Belgian style brewed in Ontario. It is a craft beer. I mean, you know it's craft. It's not a big guy, but is is the eight dollar price range worthwhile? Not really. But at the same time, you're getting six fifty for seven point four. I mean, you buy two of these, and most people will be drunk. Got it. But it's it's all up to you. I mean, I wouldn't buy it again. But if one of my friends wanted to bring it over, I'd drink it. Yep. So a four and a six five. Thank you, YouTube. Thank, Thank you, JTV. You. Thank you, Filthy Phil. Hi.